the Absalon-class frigates of the Royal Danish Navy, HDMS Absalon and HDMS Esbern Snare, stand as a testament to Denmark's innovative naval strategy, seamlessly integrating the combat capabilities of a frigate with the logistical adaptability of a support vessel. Emerging from a late 1990s strategic shift away from Cold War territorial defense toward international expeditionary roles, these ships were envisioned as multi-purpose platforms to address a dynamic global security landscape. Construction began in 2003 at the Odin Steel Shipyard, yielding vessels with a 6,300-ton displacement, a 137-meter hull, and a propulsion system powered by two MTU 8000 M70 diesel engines delivering 22,300 horsepower. This enables speeds exceeding 24 knots and an exceptional 9,000 nautical mile range at 15 knots, ideal for extended deployments. Their defining features, a 900 meter squared flex deck, stern vehicle ramp, and stand flex modular system, allow rapid mission reconfiguration, while stealth enhancements reduce radar, infrared, and acoustic signatures. Commissioned in 2004 and 2005, Absalon and Esbern Snare completed rigorous trials, including missile tests, by 2008, marking a swift transition to operational readiness and showcasing Denmark's commitment to a modern, agile fleet. The procurement process for the Absalon class was a model of efficiency and foresight. Spearheaded by the Royal Danish Navy and the Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, the DLO, the program leveraged commercial shipbuilding techniques, outsourcing hull construction to competitive bidders while integrating advanced sensors, weapons, and communications in-house. This approach kept costs reasonable exact figures remain undisclosed, and prioritized an open architecture for future upgrades. Automation to maintain a lean crew of about 100, expandable to 169 or 300, and the Stanflex system for mission-specific adaptability. Deliveries were executed with precision. HDMS Absalon launched in February 2004, commissioned in July 2004, and achieved full operational status by 2007, followed by HDMS Esbern Snare, launched in June 2004, and commissioned in February 2005. Successful trials, including the firing of evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, validated their combat systems, reflecting Denmark's ability to deliver sophisticated warships on a tight timeline. The Absalon class's roles are extraordinarily diverse, underpinned by their hybrid design. As command platforms, they accommodate staffs of up to 75 with containerized centers. As transports, they carry 200 troops and vehicles like tanks or trucks via the flex deck, supported by two SB-90E landing craft and two RA Jeeps. Reclassified as anti-submarine warfare frigates in 2020, they deploy towed array sonars and Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawks with torpedoes and sonoboys, complemented by a robust arsenal. A 127mm Mark 45 gun, 8 Harpoon Block 2 missiles, up to 36 RIM-162 ESSM or RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles, 2 Erlikon Millennium 35mm CIWS, MU-90 torpedoes, and 4 Stinger SAMs. Cutting-edge sensors, Thales Smart S Mark II radar, Terma C-Flex C4I, Atlas ASO-94 sonar and electronic warfare suites, including Terma decoy launchers and Signat systems, ensure combat supremacy. Beyond warfare, they can lay 300 mines, conduct mine clearing, or transform into hospital ships within a day, embodying a versatility unmatched in their class. Deployments of the Absalon class illuminate their global operational footprint. From 2008 to 2010, HDMS Absalon led counter-piracy efforts off Somalia in Task Force 150, capturing 88 pirates and safeguarding vessels like MV Diamond Falcon in 2009, demonstrating endurance and firepower. HDMS Esbern Snare tackled piracy in the Gulf of Guinea from 2021 to 2022, using special forces and a Seahawk to rescue hostages and deter attacks while Absalon supported NATO in the Mediterranean in 2015 and secured Baltic Sea shipping near Nord Stream leaks in 2022. Since 2024, an Absalon-class frigate has contributed to Operation Prosperity Guardian in the Red Sea, countering threats to maritime trade. 
recent operations highlight their evolution. HDMS Esbern Snare fired a Harpoon missile during Formidable Shield 2023, affirming its precision, while ASW upgrades with Thales Captas 4 sonars, initiated post-2020, aim for completion by 2026. Arctic exercises like Mjolnir 2022 underscore their adaptability to extreme conditions. A comparative analysis with regional competitors reveals the Absalon class's unique strengths. Norway's Fritjof Nansen class frigates excel in ASW and air defense with Aegis systems and NH 90 helicopters, armed with naval strike missiles and ESSMs. But their 26 knot speed and 6,000 nautical mile range fall short of the Absalon's endurance, and they lack its troop transport or flex deck capabilities. Sweden's Visby class corvettes prioritize stealth and speed for coastal operations, but their small size restricts them to anti surface roles without the Absalon's strategic lift or command functions. The Netherlands' De Zeven Provincian class frigates match the Absalon's combat prowess with advanced air defense systems, yet focus less on multifunctionality. Germany's Saxon class frigates emphasize anti air warfare with smart L radar but lack the Absalon's logistical versatility. Poland's aging OHP class frigates, inherited from the US, offer limited modern capabilities by comparison. The Absalon class's operational history provides rich context. In Somalia, Absalon's 2008 to 2010 campaign disrupted pirate networks, detaining suspects and escorting merchant ships a feat enabled by its sustained presence and robust armament. The Gulf of Guinea mission showcased Esbern Snare's helicopter and Special Forces synergy, rescuing captives and projecting Danish resolve. Its 2023 formidable shield performance, firing a harpoon against a simulated threat, highlighted its integration into NATO exercises, while Baltic patrols in 2022 demonstrated environmental and security roles amid Nord Stream tensions. The Red Sea deployment since 2024 reflects Denmark's growing strategic role, countering Houthi attacks alongside allies. The ASW upgrades, building on a 2020 tender, position the class to tackle submarine threats in the Baltic, a region of increasing Russian activity, with full capability expected by 2026. Technologically, the Absalon class leverages its Stanflex system to swap modules, ASW, anti-air, or mine warfare, in days, a flexibility competitors lack. The Smart SMEC A2 radar provides 3D volume search out to 250 kilometers, while the Terma C-Flex C4I system integrates sensors and weapons for real-time decision-making. The FlexDex capacity for 55 tons of vehicles, or 900 mil squared of cargo, surpasses the Nansen's helicopter-centric design and the Visby's minimal payload. Crew efficiency, with automation reducing manpower needs, contrasts with the larger complements of the Saxon or De Zeven Provincian, enhancing cost-effectiveness over long missions. Strategically, the Absalon class aligns with Denmark's NATO commitments and Arctic interests. Greenland and the Faroe Islands, under Danish sovereignty, demand a naval presence capable of operating in icy waters, as proven in Mjolnir 2022. The class's hospital role, though rarely publicized, offers humanitarian potential, as seen in theoretical disaster response scenarios. Economically, its low ownership cost, stemming from commercial design and minimal crew, contrasts with the high-maintenance Nansen or Saxon classes giving Denmark outsized capability for a modest defense budget. As of March 2025, the Absalon class remains a Danish naval cornerstone. Its blend of combat strength, logistical flexibility, and proven deployments outshines regional peers in versatility, if not always in specialized domains. Norway leads in ASW, Sweden in stealth, the Netherlands in air defense. Yet, the Absalon's all-purpose design Ongoing upgrades and global reach ensure Denmark's pivotal role in NATO and beyond, ready to adapt to an ever-shifting maritime landscape with unmatched agility.